Okay, now I'm at 674. And what I'm going to do, even though they don't look as bad, is I'm still going to take these shutters down today. Clean them up really good and paint them bright white because up there, white gutters are going to go. And then thinking of maybe some beige skirting. Your special kind of screws won't take me that long to take them down. I don't remember if this side had them. Actually, the back side doesn't have any. Yeah, they don't have shutters on the back side. There's really not too many windows in this house. And once we take that big sliding glass door out in the kitchen, lighting. So we're going to put some bright lights in here because usually down there at the end there's a window or two, but there's not. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we only have to deal with white shutters. Since we have such a nice canvas right here, maybe I should put our advertising. We have enterprises. We buy mobile homes. Yeah. I think the owner will like that. But this is what it looks like with the straps down there in the end. When it's blocked up. And there's not too many underbelly except for the bathroom right there that we have to worry about. And always when you're blocking your houses in the front and back doors, you have to have them right underneath the front door right here. So we'll put up its address. We usually put it underneath the light. It's a new address. I usually get an old piece of wood and I freehand my addresses. I pre-drill a hole. Had a bunch of gray paint left over. So that's going to be the address. Those are my screws uh, for metal. So we'll come back and I'll show you what the house looks like naked without the shutters. All right. I should have done, um, put my GoPro on a tripod so you can see me doing it real quick. But it looks like shutters are up there already, huh? Let's look close. That's the real color of the mobile home and I guess they didn't like it. So they painted it, but they did actually a nice job with painting. It's lasted for a while. I'll have to get up there and clean that vent for the stove. So that's what it looks like now. There's all the shutters I'm going to take with me and clean at my house. Just put up address sign. Kind of go in here. I don't know what they had here, but we'll have to patch that up. Maybe a doorbell of some sorts. Debating whether we should keep that or not. Might be nice. Extra security. This thing. Thought I'd bring it in here and see if it would probably fit clean it up and everything and put some covers on it and some LEDs to brighten up this bathroom. But we bought this and we're going to convert it into a little vanity here. Um, we'll close this up. I'm going to paint this. We'll take, actually, put a hole up here where the sink's going to kind of drop through about this low and then run the pipe. We'll take this shelf out of here. We'll repurpose this to put some shelves over there so we can use, reuse this, but we've done it before. I think in one of our videos, you can go back and see what we've done and turn these into vanities and frame out, clean up this mirror so it looks modern and over here 
you know, clean this up. There's no electricity, so I'm not worried about those wires, but that'll work perfect right there. I don't like that color gold, but depending on all the fixtures, it'll either be some type of bronze gold, or if we use um, silver fixtures in here, more than likely they'll probably end up being silver. But just wanted to bring that in just to see if that would work. And it does. You can see me here in the mirror. It's extremely hot in this house. Oh my gosh, is it? So the guys haven't even started putting plumbing plumbing up. I don't know what's going on. I have to give them a call in the morning. I ran all the way down here to drop off some plumbing for them. Thought they would be here the next day. It's been a few days. So I know Jason watches this video, right, Jason? What's up? get going on here um, get some electricity going we can't turn it on until it passes inspection oh this house is gonna take a lot of work so anyways I'm doing what I can do and I can come back and get the rest of the boards that need to go up in the ceiling like that one get it stapled back up get the one that they put in that bathroom put it stapled up here same here we're missing something here and then i can come and patch that up we'll need a trim up there where you see spacing and I've got plenty of door skins. If I need to put any more trim up, I can use the door skins. We can paint them. I'm not gonna worry about patching that hole up until the guys take this door out. So we took down the paneling so we can see what's going on. And this door is gonna come out and it's all just gonna be closed up. We'll have to reinstall this back door because as you can see they love expanding foam and I'm pretty sure that's what's keeping this door in here. Kind of figure that too because we couldn't find any screws when we were checking it out over here but they didn't measure so I guess I decided to put expanding foam up here. Expanding. Oh I have to have an electrician come out and see why he rewired and if it's done right and how much of the house he rewired because this is where the box was and then once we get this all figured out closed up back safely hmm, I see you and come in here and put some silicone in there patch that up and make sure that box over there is done correctly lots of different wires going on and then put a new Throw that away. Put a tub in here, redo this whole section. We can put a 60 inch tub, I think, in here. Maybe not, I think 54 in this one. So I'm still hunting for a 54 inch tub. And then also too, sorry, lifting your neck around. And come in here and start mudding and drywalling stuff getting the house ready to paint and prep. I'm actually pretty good at doing that. So I don't mind doing it. You can see me down there. Hey y'all. <sighs> and then put drywall up over there. So just purchased this stove that will go in here. Look at all this fun patching I'm going to have to do. Ooh, wires. Just pull them through the walls. Get rid of that. Put a brand new one up so I gotta order some. That one has a vent out. I have to order two of them. But we can use these paneling for 
windows, door skins we call it, to replace all that old stuff right there. Take it all out, check, make sure the wood's good, cover it up with those skins. And go from there. So I'm gonna go head on out. I'll take a picture of the cats that I feed. I do that a couple times a week. There's a colony of cats that I help the nonprofit organizations feed, otherwise these cats would have starved to death out there. And I'll show you that on my next tour, what I'm doing today.